Well, hey, everybody. Happy Thursday. My new record, The Hopes and Fears of All the Years, comes out tomorrow, which I'm very excited about. And I wanted to walk y'all through a song called Creator of the Stars of Night, which was the second single, and show you how I made it. So first, like almost all my songs, we start with an acoustic guitar. There's also this pad. It's a pretty interesting pad. It's kind of got a little movement. And this other pad that I made with my Casio SK-1. But the most interesting part about this intro that I think um, kind of catches your ear right away is these um, sampled vocal tracks um, from the Casio SK-1. I'm kind of like singing parts into it and then pitch shifting it around and using my voice as an instrument on the keyboard. That's the intro. And then do the double track vocal thing I've been doing lately. Creator of the stars of night. First Your one is pretty simple. This is actually a, a hymn from the ninth century. Um, it was originally in Latin. This is the original the tune. It was translated to English uh, about a thousand years later. We I wanted to text paint on this next verse. When this old world drew on toward night. This is some low subby stuff and then matched with some high stuff to go with the lyrics. When this old world drew on toward night You came but not in splendor bright A little on the nose, but not fun. As a then the bass comes in. But the child of Mary blameless mother and this is the sound I've been getting the most questions about it's this um, synth sound it's just a preset from Slate's uh, Anna synth engine called Regenerative Vintage kind of reminds me of some of the synth sounds on Sufjan's Carrie and Lowell album which is a big influence on this record sound wise I like to do these reverse swells sometimes. Jesus, no, no, More samples. All knees must bend, all hearts must bow. All things on earth with one I like this part here. Accord. Like those in heaven shall call you Lord. And then piano. That's the um, Spitfire soft piano. It's a free MIDI piano sound. I'm just playing in octaves, the melody. And then some of my classic uber simple piano parts. Just adds a little something. Trisha starts singing, and she double tracked her vocal too. Praise, honor, might, and glory be from age to age. And then we really layer the vocals for this last verse with the amens. And Chad Walbrink, mix engineer, added a lot more reverb, makes it pretty ethereal sounding. Oh, and this Nashville acoustic, that's like the high strings of a 12-string guitar, but without the low strings. It has this cool twinkly sound. And then at the end, we do the doxology through the SK-1. <laughs> it's a little messed up, but I think it's fun. Um, 
whimsical maybe anyway that's uh creator of the stars of night i um really love how this one turned out and hope that you do too thank you so much for watching this and i hope you like the full record which comes out tomorrow the hopes and fears of all the years peace